Morning everyone, welcome back. So uh, today is gonna be the last day of spreading. Well, I should be able to finish the spreading program today, put it that way. Uh, and then there will be leftover, just judging about what's in the shed, I'm assuming. And uh, then I'll spread the rest out on the front paddock in, um, in the canola there. Now, uh, the rain has disappeared, but I'm still gonna keep going. I sound like a broken record to you guys. Rain, 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 rain. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, the crops, they're looking fantastic. Uh, we've been getting rain at the right times. So, I, you know, I'm not complaining. The crops are crops are looking great. We, uh, we can always use, always use a lot more rain. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just how dry it is here. So this is our, this here where I'm standing is our spray dam. Uh, now, normally, well, you can, you can see it's a valley wall dam. So it's a, uh, we've, we, pff, normally, back, back when we used to get rain, uh, when I was a kid, the water level was always up on the dam bank there. Uh, and then this is it now. So this uh, sunken bit is what you call the tank and uh, the tank is empty. Now, yes, you can see water on the surface, but the solar pump there, it's uh, not floating anymore. That is sitting on the ground. So we can't suck any more water out of there because that is uh, the solar pump will be in mud. Uh, that is how desperate we are for water. Uh, so I've got, uh, this morning I'm gonna go and fill up my spreader and then I need to go down and grab Henry's truck and fill that with water. And that will be the last time I'll be filling it from water up at the shed. After that, we're gonna be going down to the flex sand tanks at Athens there where the water is. And we won't even be able to draw from there for too long because uh, it'll be another video when I'm down there sucking that water, but that's nearly empty too. So then we're gonna have to go from another dam. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I know that when I, you look at our crops, you're like, oh, he's got plenty of water. It looks fantastic. Uh, but the uh, reality, reality of, of it is, is our dams are, uh, are going dry and uh, we don't have water. So that's where we're at. Uh, in, to the point actually that uh, on Facebook you get memories um, pop up and last year I believe oh, not, not last year this time uh, it's got to be six seven eight years ago I'd have to check it but we used to use a diesel pump down here and the diesel pump was uh, was here um, and it was underwater the uh, just shows you just how much water this uh this can hold so where i'm standing was underwater and this whole whole area this valley was just full of water it was it was amazing to see so the soul uh the, the dam pump was here and um yeah the water level would have been you know about there so you know on that day i had to drag it up on top of this mound here but the uh the water was just amazing just how much we had and then uh, now it's gone. We got no water. We uh, we're dry. We need rain. So <laughs> yeah. To finish off the day, I need 19 ton. So I definitely think I've got it there. Should be, should be there. So. <laughs> um, there probably won't be much to spread out in the uh, in the canola, but there definitely will be some. Yeah, there's always going to be some some left over. It'll come close, but uh, yeah, 19 ton out of this, and then whatever's left will go on the front paddock. Spreader is nice and full. I'm going to assume that's around nine and a half to ten ton so i just need to do that again and we will uh have hattons done so that side there we'll get it and then we've got uh whatever's going to be left there so uh we'll see how much we got left and then yeah we'll take a guess shall we see uh see how much is left after that how many tons but now I'm going to uh, head down and uh, go and grab Henry's truck because he'll nearly be coming into brew now.
gates are hung up. I can still sneak through on this side. The uh, one this side of the fence is done. So where I did uh, in the last video clearing the uh, the section on the other side, that's where uh, Darren's up to now. But no, it's awesome to have uh, have that already up and up and rolling. So it's nice to see a fence there again. Another nice full spreader load that will finish off Hattons and then my spreading program is done. So then it's just this stuff that's left in here that I will uh, spread out on the canola and top that up. Uh, that'll be tomorrow so with the time of day it is now I won't finish down there till like 4.35 something like that. If there was rain coming I'd spread this out tonight but no need. So um Take a guess, what do you reckon's here in uh, kilos? The, uh, yeah, write it in the comments below and then I'll pin the correct one. And uh, I might even send you a, uh, a hat and a stubby holder if you get it correct. But uh, we'll find that one out in the next video. So, uh, yeah, put your comments in and uh, I'll pin it. Probably send you a hat. What's your guess? quite nice seeing the house up on top of the hill there yeah, it's got a nice outlook it's looking fantastic we just can't move in yet but I can see the uh, the aircon guys they've finished up today I can see all the aircon units are mounted on the outside so that's all done the flooring guy's still there he's prepping the floor and sealing it so I think he's there all week and then it's 10 days after that is when people are allowed back in but after that it's not too much uh, carpets need to go in um the painter needs to come out here and paint the outside of the house and the uh the pull fence just needs to be put in like it's all, all the posts are there it just needs the the right the guards the rails whatever you want to call it i think that's it oh the cleaners obviously need to go through and then uh yeah we've got to do our little walk through and make sure it's all good and check paint and get things redone and all like that so i really am fingers crossed that we get to move in when we get back from holidays on the 10th of july It'd be uh just fantastic to be able to uh get into there and uh so yeah then we can well once we moved into there we gotta we're gonna repaint uh our current house uh because that's been uh well, we've been in there for 11 or 12 years so or maybe 10 10 years um yeah 10 years this year uh so yeah there we're, we're gonna repaint that because it needs repainting we're gonna uh fix the step on the outside uh, and we're gonna need to fix the balustrade as well and give it a paint and get that so it's all you know all good and then uh, henry's gonna move in there so uh then we're gonna move henry into the uh into his new house so lots of moving going to be happening uh, in the later part of the year, but we're, uh, we're all excited for it. And that is the spreading program done. 370 hectares is what I ended up doing today. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I will get whatever is left in the shed and we will, uh, yeah, we'll spread the rest of that out. So uh, get your guesses in for how much you think is in there. Uh, I think there's still like a ton left on board in this one here but uh it's all good we'll be yeah using it all now this is something i'm i'm not used to i've got to uh close the gate now which is uh it's very nice to to finally have a gate on uh especially on such a main road 
uh, to deter people from uh, coming in and having a look or driving around where they shouldn't be in you know just things like that so very nice to there we go done locked very nice to have so I'll, when i go to town i'll uh i'll end up getting a new chain i'll get a couple padlocks as well so that um yeah it's locked which would be good but uh the fence is all up the fence is done um, Darren has finished the whole fence. He's literally finished about half an hour ago. So it is, uh, it's very nice to see. It's nice, it's straight, and yeah, we finally got a fence up, which is good. We don't get a lot of uh, uh, ferals. We, you know, we don't get a lot of kangaroos here. So uh, it's not so much a deterrent for kangaroos like what we have, or oh, and emus in Rasheen. We, uh, when we redid that fence, we stopped getting crop damage and on the outside of the fence they literally dug a, dug a trench of just running up and down the fence so that it's not you know we didn't need to worry about that that's why we never you know sort of got around to doing it but now we've got the house there this uh will stop people from you know going up and having a nosy at the house because they can't just come driving down here and then drive in that'll be locked there um yeah, and it's nice to have a boundary, f boundary fence back up. You know, it looks good, makes the farm look good and complete. So, anyway guys, we're going to leave the video there. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.